subscribe world action and reaction news warn and press bell button for getting notification of all future updates why india rejected fgfa The Indian Air Force, IAF, has reportedly withdrawn from one of the most ambitious and controversial joint Indo-Russian defence programmes to date, the CO development and production of the Sukhoi-HAL 5th generation fighter aircraft, FGFA, also known in India as the Prospective Multi-Role Fighter, PMF. Senior Indian officials, including National Security Advisor Ajit Doval and Defence Secretary Sanjay Mitra, purportedly informed a Russian ministerial delegation, that Indian government was pulling out of the 11-year collaborative program to develop a stealth fighter jet, official sources told IHS Jane's Defence Weekly on April 20. The Air Force has its reservations on the program mainly on three points. First, the project cost is too high and way beyond what it had expected. The learning curve is not there as the project is already at an advanced stage and the stealth technology of the planes is not as advanced as that of the other similar planes. The cost of the FGFA program is coming to be huge. While we have already spent close to $300 million, ours 2,000 crore, on the preliminary design phase, the Russians are demanding $6.7 billion, ours 44,800 crore as the development cost of the planes which is coming to be much higher than what we had perceived, the sources revealed. The maintenance cost of the planes is also expected to be very high and similar to that of the Sukhoi 30 planes whose maintenance and upkeep has been quite demanding in their around 20 years in the force, they said. The American F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning which are considered the latest combat planes with stealth technologies and abilities to strike farther than their older counterparts. It is speculated that SU-57 not as good as its American counterpart, the F-22, and is same as SU-35 but with some minor stealth features. And since FGFA shares the same airframe as pac -Fa, India may have got the wind that FGFA will also be a failure in the stealth department. Sources from the Indian Defence Ministry have told that, Delhi would participate in the joint development of a new pak fa derived 5th Gen fighter in cooperation with Russia only if the Russian side included full-scale technology transfer as part of the deal including the fighter's source codes. In addition, the Indian side is demanding that the FGFA project should directly aid a separate program, India's Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA, project, as well. Russian experts are divided over the implications of this ultimatum. India may not be willing to work on FGFA now due to PAKFA project failures. Russia itself is only buying only 12 of its own SUA-57. It is speculated that SUA-57 not as good as its American counterpart, the F-22, and is same as SUA-35 but with some minor stealth features. And since FGFA shares the same airframe as PAKFA, India may have got the wind that FGFA will also be a failure in the stealth department. This also might be true that Russia in later half of the FGFA negotiation period realized that pak -Fa was a blunder, and Russian Air Force would not be inducting it in large numbers. So Russia deliberately delayed the negotiations of FGFA, so that in the end, Russia could dump the SUA-57 on India under the FGFA deal and recover its losses in the pak -Fa project. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.